Horrors and gents, one of reaction and this is what if you detonated a nuclear bomb in the Marianas Trench? Science, not fantasy. Wait a minute, cause cause that does fantasy? I don't know, I, I've never come across a fantasy video. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, I, I have. Yeah, I did that gold thing, didn't I? My last touch, yeah. Coast Gazette in a nutshell, did you ever wonder what happened if you detonate a nuclear bomb in the Marianas Trench? No, we neither, let's find us together, okay. What would happen? First of all, Marianas Trench, if you explode a bomb, I think the explosion effect would be similar if an asteroid fell down into the ocean. So it would cause a massive uh, tsunamis, I guess, one after another. But, uh, yeah, but you know, asteroid comes from the top and, you know, rips through the ocean to create tsunami. If you detonate from the bottom, it would create an explosion. I mean, yeah, I get the pressures, pressure would be high of the ocean, but would it be high enough? No, I don't think it would be high enough, right? I think it would still create a tsunami because it's, it would be a nuclear bomb. I don't know. It's going to be a fun thing to watch. I would require a few Cuscazad videos already. If you haven't seen them, check out the cars. There's a playlist I've for it, Cuscazad reaction, something like that. Check out the other playlist too, like Real Life Floor, CGB Grey, uh, Tear Zoo, things like that, Internet Historian. And yeah, let's do this one. What would happen if we detonated humanity's most powerful nuclear weapon at the deepest point of the ocean? For sure, tsunamis hundreds of meters high would destroy coastal cities, earthquakes would level countries, new volcanoes would bring us nuclear winter. Maybe... Yeah, earthquake would happen too, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know about volcanoes. I don't think volcanoes. Why would volcano be affected? I think earthquake would happen, tsunamis would happen, I don't know. But at what intensity? If you explode it that below with the pressure of the ocean, how powerful would the tsunami be? I don't know. Maybe even Earth could be ripped apart or thrown out of orbit. No. Well, almost. Currently, Earth's deepest known point is inside the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is a very deep valley right at the edge of two tectonic plates that looks like an upside down mountain. It reaches a depth of about 11 kilometers, almost three times deeper than the dark grave of the Titanic. It's one of the last places on Earth for humans to explore. Pitch black and under a thousand atmospheres of pressure, it's a relatively pristine environment thanks to the absence of humans. <laughs> Yeah, wait a bit. <laughs> yeah, but everybody who's near the near the islands and places at the beaches, uh, you know, the, the giants, colossal squids, and all these deep sea creatures would fly out and just fall everywhere. I guess that would be a weird scene to see. <laughs> fall everywhere. <laughs> Great place for our nuclear test. We'll use the most powerful nuclear bomb humans have ever exploded, the RDS-220 hydrogen Zara bomb bomber. or Tsar bomber. Yeah. Its explosion was oh, so mad. Look at this. This is bomb ridiculous. Or Tsar bomb. The little boy fat man, nothing compared to the Tsar bomber. Bomber. Its explosion was so massive that its shockwave traveled around the Earth three times and its mushroom cloud stretched 56 kilometers into the sky. Its shockwave was strong enough to destroy everything in a thousand square kilometers, its fireball hot enough to burn the rubble. Bombs like this release such an enormous amount of energy at once that they could boil away an entire lake. And if we set off a nuclear bomb in the Mariana Trench... Yeah, wait a minute, that would happen too, wouldn't it? Uh, lots of water would get vaporized at that below. So all the water would get vaporized would create some kind of a sinkhole effect too? I don't know. That's exactly what happens. Let's pull the trigger. In the first few microseconds, the nuclear fuel undergoes its chain reaction and explodes with the power of 50 megatons of TNT. A blinding flash of light illuminates the darkness of the trench for the first time in history. The heat of the explosion produces a cavity, a flaming bubble of water vapor, radioactive nuclei and the remains of very unlucky fish. The bubble grows quickly as it vaporizes the water around it. The pressure of the bubble is immense, plowing outwards as if there's nothing in the way, sending off a shockwave that will be felt by seismic stations and whales around the world, and then almost as fast... <laughs> whales would be sleeping there and suddenly, oh shit, something's wrong here, and you'll just look in the distance. <laughs> as it emerges, it stops. 
On the surface of the Earth, this fireball bubble would grow to 10 kilometers the second after it's detonated as the atmosphere barely puts up a fight to hold it back. But the pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is enormous. With 11 kilometers of water overhead, being in the Mariana Trench is like being crushed by a hydraulic yeah. press from every direction. Here, a second after the detonation, our bubble is about a kilometer across, when, oddly enough, it starts to shrink. The bubble overextends itself, losing pressure. Whoa, really? That how much pressure would make a difference? Just a kilometer wide? Damn. Wait a minute. Will anybody will even you know feel an effect of this bomb on the surface? Damn, this is completely different than I thought. Pressure as it expands until the water turns it back, recompressing it. The tug of war between the fiery death bubble and water goes back and forth a few times, the bubble shrinking and growing until eventually the bubble loses for good. The pressure around it is too great, and turbulent water begins to chop it up. It becomes something like the underwater equivalent of a mushroom cloud as it disintegrates into many smaller hot and radioactive bubbles drifting upwards. What? And as our mighty destructive blast rises to the surface, it does basically nothing. Just a small wave and a bubbling plume of radioactive warm water in the Pacific. You are kidding me. I thought there would be tsunamis if this is Tsar Bomba. There will be at least, you know, tsunami tides at least two, three times. Because uh, that, you know, if a puff is, obviously that's way much powerful than Tsar Bomba. But still, if a puff is falls down to the Pacific Ocean, it would create a tsunami tides 40 times or something like that. One, two, three, 40 tsunami tides. So I'm like, yeah, okay, that's much powerful than Zarbon, but still, this at least would have done two, three waves of tsunami. But yeah, there, uh, a puff is, if an asteroid falls in the ocean, it would come from the top and pierce inside. That would create a hole, that would create all this tsunami effect. You're detonating this bomb at the very bottom. So yeah, that, is, that doesn't make sense, but damn, I didn't know the pressure would be so much that only it would push down all this nuclear explosion. No tsunami will wash away Japan or California, although boats and whales in the area might have a bad time. Bombville. The radioactive fallout will be diluted into the Pacific after a few days, although a fair amount of radioactive water and salt makes it to the atmosphere, where it collects and then rains down again. Even if the wind blows the fallout directly towards the Philippines, the worst of it probably happens over the oceans. But clearly, the real danger comes from our explosion triggering earthquakes and volcanoes, right? Uh, Even if we detonated the bomb right in the trench at the exact point where... I mean, would volcano get affected? I know, you know, plates would get affected because of this, but I don't know, volcanoes wouldn't be triggered, I'm pretty sure. Tectonic plates touch? Probably not. The explosion would vaporize a part of the sea floor and turn a lot of sand into glass, but most of the energy goes into the water, not seismic waves. Yeah. Earthquakes are already quite common at tectonic plate boundaries. And earthquakes with as much seismic energy as our bomb happen a few times a year without triggering any sort of apocalypse. But maybe it will affect the Earth's orbit. Since no Come mass on. is taken away or added to the Earth, our orbit is completely unaffected. Also, there have been... I highly doubt hundreds of bombs would affect the orbit. But yeah, I mean, the bomb is powerful, but not as powerful than lots of earthquakes. So yeah, maybe, you know, people would feel it at some distance, somewhat earthquake, but I don't think it would make major difference. Well over a thousand nuclear tests in the last 70 years, and that didn't change our orbit. So why would this time be different? Yeah. The strongest forces humanity can unleash are laughable compared to the forces of nature. The planet is too big. It doesn't care. So, what happens to us if we detonate a nuclear weapon really deep in the ocean? Pretty much nothing. Damn, I didn't see Did that coming. Did you know that every bird in our videos has an owner? More than 1,000 people have got their own bird. It helps yes. us explain things clowns around in the background, or dies a horrible and avoidable death. If you want your own bird too, and you want it to appear in one of our videos, you can get it at Patreon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, people support this channel. This is a great channel. I, I did not see this coming. I thought there would be tsunamis at least, earthquake. I'm pretty sure somebody would feel it, because when the original Tsar bomba was exploded, people did feel it f for extremely long distances, even in the Europe. 
So I'm pretty sure uh, you'd feel uh, the earthquake somewhat, but it won't be that much noticeable. But no tsunamis, that, that I didn't see that coming. The pressure is so high that, you know, all the pr pressure from the bomb just gets, you know, gets pressed down. That is something, isn't it? So it doesn't matter. Maybe if you explode like hundreds Zar bombas, maybe there'll be tsunami, massive tsunami like the asteroid thing I said. I don't know. Man, that was surprising. All right, people. This was what if you detonated a nuclear bomb in the Mariana Trench by the Kursk Zard. If you like my Alexander for like, subscribe. Check out the Rick's and did this link in the description. Check out the cast of the playlist. Check out the end cards. And yeah, comment down if you want me to react to some video. And I'll see you next time.